New rods and reels at ICAST, Texas Rig Tips, some of the best fishing knots you can tie to catch fish, and we're also going to be covering a couple of kayaks and a creator showcase. Welcome back to, we're calling it the Fishing Report right now. This is Weston Smith reporting to you from Dallas, Texas. We're trying to cover all things ICAST right now. It is day two out there in Florida, the Orange County Convention Center, but don't get it mistaken for a convention like I did yesterday, because apparently it's a trade show, and people are going to hit you up about that in the comments section. So we got a lot to cover, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and get in to it, I'm very stoked to show you guys how you can catch more fish with the Texas rig, though, so stick around for those tips. ICAST stuff is going to come later, but luckily, we've incorporated chapters, okay? So if you only want to see certain segments of this video today, all you got to do is check the pinned comment or the description. I'm going to have chapters laid out for you. So you just hit what you want, skip the rest. But check us out, man. We got the Florida vibes going. I'm talking about we got palm trees around the cam bubble. We are living large, ain't we? <laughs> I'd like to start things off by saying... This is straight from AJP Fishing. Couldn't have said it better myself. This is definitely the time of year you want to take a look at stories from the people you are following. Nothing beats a first-hand look at a product when you can't make it down to Orlando like us out here in Texas. Thanks for all the stories and posts, everyone. Have fun and save some sneak peek information for the rest of us. Well, spoiler alert if you're watching today's video. <sighs> We're about to uh, ruin some sneak peeks. <laughs> I like how he's got the juice down here. Oh, yeah, subtle flex right there, boys. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get right into it. So, first things first, today's episode is sponsored by Carl's Bait and Tackle. We're going to break this thing down here shortly. Huge sale going on over at Carl's. Uh, free Guggen Squad fishing rods, a lot to talk about. But, Let's go ahead and get right into it. So starting things off with a few uh, trending topics in fishing. I thought this was interesting. We talked about some of these and the channels yesterday, but mask fishing popped up. And I was kind of wondering, like, is there something going on, like fishing challenges? And so I kind of kind of Googled this thing. And uh, what do we got over here? Where's that mask fishing? The science survey. <laughs> mask fishing. When a person looks so different without their mask on. So this is literally people like catfishing folks. They're like, I guess, taking pictures with masks uh, on like maybe like dating apps and things of that nature. And then, and then of course, they don't look how they did with the mask on. On social media platforms, many have been accused of mask fishing or purposefully wearing masks to hide what they really look like in order to gain some sort of benefit. Okay, kind of lame. I just thought it was funny. I had to look it up because it's got like 300 plus in search volume right now. So we got mask fishing going on out in the world, folks. Just be careful. <laughs> uh, Bass Master Fishing 2022, that video game is still going wild. And uh, I thought this was really good. So I'm going over here to related topics to fishing, right? Texas rig, bait casting, uh, knot. Okay, so fishing line, all these things, probably especially because ICAST is going on right now, is generating a lot of awareness, and so I want to talk about a couple things. Uh, we'll go ahead and get right into the Texas rig tips. I think there's a ton of value here. By the way, uh, I would love for today's video to hit 10,000 views. If y'all could help us do that by sharing this with somebody you know who's looking forward to these ICAST releases, uh, Texas rig tips, not tips, go ahead and do so because that is the goal, all right? So Texas rig and how to set it up first and foremost. It's funny because uh, if you fish Texas rigs, you know this is kind of backwards. So, yeah, insert the hook into the nose of the bait, you know, work it up onto the uh, to the hook there. And then it says, number five, the last thing is attach your bullet weight to the line. I don't know why that's number five. I typically put my bullet weight on the line first, and then I kind of tie my hook, and then I add the plastic. But uh, apparently this is how to set up a Texas rig. Google said it best. So here's a couple examples of Texas rigs, by the way. So this is, um, we got one that's rigged up weightless, you can see here, right? One that's rigged with a weight peg, okay? Looks like more of an EWG style hook, whereas this guy over here is more of like a worm hook, just kind of straight shank, it seems. And then you got one over here on a flipping hook. This is really more of a flipping setup. I don't know if you'd even call it a, a Texas rig. It's got that heavier weight and a weight peg. And so I just want to point this out. This is actually a video over on the Mystery Tackle Box channel. This was done years ago. Tons of views, a lot of helpful information. I believe it was actually put on by Millican Fishing. And so check that thing out. Lots of helpful tips in there. But on your Texas rigs, I don't see a lot of folks talking about this very, very often. Okay, so I've got a little demonstration for you, ladies and gents, today. Check this out. I want to talk to you about why you would peg your weight. I'm using green, a green weight peg and weight for today's example so y'all can really see this. Uh, versus not pegging your weight because I always thought it was just best to do it one way and I thought working through cover uh, with a weight peg was the most advantageous and it really does have its advantages but I'm also going to talk to you about why you might be losing fish when you're using a Texas rig and it could be because of your weight peg so let's say 
all things being equal, you know, let's call it 15 pound fluorocarbon line, quarter ounce weight, etc. right? Same hook, yada, yada, yada. Do you peg the weight or do you not? So when you peg your weight, that bait and the weight are going to stay just kind of tucked together, right? So that thing's falling down and you can work through the cover a little bit easier because it's all just kind of one, one, one piece, right? So you can work over the trees, you can work through the rock and you're not going to be getting snagged as much, right? So just makes sense. Why would you not want to fish it without a weight peg? Well, here's the reason why you might want to fish it without a weight peg. So if you're fishing it without a weight peg, usually that weight is leading the way. Okay. So it hits the bottom first. And then here comes your bait with that slow, subtle fall. Imagine the tail of this blazing worm kicking nice and elegantly as it's on its way down, right? A little bit of a slower fall. Okay. Sometimes those bass don't always just shoot down after that bandito bug with the fast weight getting all the way to the bottom very quickly. Okay. So one thing is you might get more strikes with that weight on pegged, but here is where the real argument lies. Okay. This is very important. A lot of value provided for y'all on this one right here. I don't see many people breaking this down. So what's going to happen is once that fish actually bites the Texas rig, right? And you've got it hooked up, you set the hook and then you notice uh, your fish came off, right? You didn't get it to the boat might be because of the weight peg and here's why. So as that fish is shaking and that weight tends to go up the line, there's not a whole lot of weight leverage here, right? Imagine this is in the fish's lip, right? There's not a whole lot of weight leverage to kind of open up more of a hole and then free that fish. You got to keep your line tight and crank that thing so this does not happen, right? That's why you hear tight lines out there. But if you give that fish a little bit of slack and they're shaking and that weight is pegged, okay? So the weight is pegged. Now when that fish is shaking, it's got the weight to its advantage. It can open more of a hole. And you've seen this when you catch fish. You're like, holy smokes, good thing I didn't let there be any slack. Otherwise, I would, I would have lost that one. And it's because oftentimes that weight allows that hole there to open up. You're going to lose less fish with the Texas rig. It's just pretty much scientifically backed, right? If that weight can then slide up as you're fighting that fish on the way back. So this is why you would fish it unpegged. And I find myself oftentimes not getting caught up in a lot of the trees and whatnot. You just kind of work it, uh, you know, nice and steady. You don't do aggressive pops all the time. You know, a Texas rig, you're working with your rod, not the, not the real, you know, maybe you're creeping it back. But even so, I would usually just kind of drag it along the bottom with the rays of the rod tip and only be reeling as I bring in that slack. So with the Texas rig, peg or no peg, let me know down in the comments, but that is my two cents. I used to only fish them with the weight peg when I first learned about it because I thought it was so great for fishing through cover. And then now recently we fish it without the weight peg because uh, of the advantages just mentioned. So that covers the Texas rig, don't it? And next up we've got fishing knots. So I see uh, one of our buddies slowly taking over in the Instagram space and that is the skiff wanderer. Can I pull up just his Instagram handle right here? Check this out. 128K followers. I feel like that's a big jump lately, but maybe I've just been kind of ignorant to it. Anyways, he's got some of the best, most informative knot tutorials on Instagram. You can see this Alberto knot versus Albright knot has got 200 and a quarter million views. Okay. Quarter million views. Cause it's so helpful. People want to know about these fishing knots and that's why it's trending over here on searches when you search fishing. Okay. So the skiff wanderer, definitely worth the follow over on Instagram, the homie. And, uh, and so check this out though. Here's a couple more examples. Snell knot, half a million views. Palomar knot, my favorite, 224 uh, K views. And so, you know, he's just putting out value for you guys. Check this last, last slide out here. This is uh, Palomar versus uni knot, 20, 4.6 million views. By the way, if you're in the reels play bonus program, I do want to bring this up. Some folks are like, how much money can you make with Instagram reels right now? Uh, aside from the first hundred dollars, which they pay out pretty quickly, they want all uh, Instagrammers to have an opportunity to make money. And it's great because you'll make your first hundred dollars quickly, right? So I don't know how many views could see that first hundred bucks, but after that, every million views has consistently been for me and the people I talk to $100. So that right there is a $2,500 Instagram post if you are in the Reels Play bonus program and you get those views within the time frame for your like pay period, right? So uh, one Instagram post can certainly do well for you. And uh, it's no exception with the Skiff Wanderer. You can see why he's getting so many views because he's putting out uh, great, great knot content uh, amongst other fly fishing stuff he's got going on. So almost a million views on this Orvis versus imp improved clinch knot. Um, Orvis knot, I haven't even ever used that. But look, <laughs> whatever knot you want to learn how to tie, I can guarantee he's probably just about got it over there. So <laughs> that is the Skiff Wanderer. And I did want to bring this up too because lately... 
um, our videos as far as the uh, kayak tournaments have been doing really well. You know, the feedback has been phenomenal. You can see like in the first few hours of posting, it was ranked one out of 10 of our recent videos. Uh, so first of all, thank you so much for y'all uh, and really enjoying the, the kayak fishing content, but primarily the, the tournaments, right? But I want to say, uh, I can't just find all these tournaments. I mean, there's only so many in Texas. The trails are kind of ending a lot of them that were ran through summertime. And so I did want to mention uh, a buddy of mine, Okay. You definitely got to check his page out. He does a lot of fantastic and informative kayak fishing videos. And that is none other than Greg Blanchard. He's got 117,000 subscribers. So you've probably already seen his stuff, right? We're over here with 49K and uh, looking forward to 50K. Y'all gave us a big push off the last few videos. So thank you so much. If you're, if you're not a subscriber yet, um, you know, screw it. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. You know, just check back with us on a regular basis if you want to see more of these fishing reports and whatnot. Go give the subscribe to Greg Blanchard, though. This guy, he's crushing it. We've learned a lot from his kayak videos. And I actually originally touched base with him when we were going to fish the California Delta for the Catch Coast series Unchartered. And uh, he was just, he shared all kinds of information and tips. And uh, we've just been chatting ever since. And I love his tournament videos. So if you're looking for more tournament content, and this is what I've been getting at, and I'm not able to uh, supply you with enough, <laughs> definitely check out Greg's page. He's got some uh, fishing here in Texas as well. Okay. I think there was some near the Lake Fork area. Uh, I even drew inspiration from him with our title, right? Biggest tournament of my life, 2022 Bassmaster. This was his fishing tournament video. Um, and so if you looked at ours, it was titled Biggest Tournament of My Life. And you know, it was that $1,000. It's our third fishing tournament. And so we, uh, we went ahead and kind of piggybacked off of what we see working. It got him 159,000 views. And so anyways, got to check out the homie Greg Blanchard. He's going to be linked down below along with the other creators I talk about. We're going to go ahead and do the same for them. Awesome videos. Uh, what do we got? Oh, here's a little inflatable kayak that we're going to talk more about here in just a moment. This is an iCast release. They've got it going on out there. Um, bait casting. I just thought this was interesting because normally you would assume that bait caster would be what people are searching, but maybe folks are searching bait casting. So if you're a YouTuber and you're looking for something maybe to break out, uh, potentially give bait casting tips rather than bait caster tips. Maybe use both in your title. Who knows, right? Uh, these are things you might want to cover right now. Texas rig, knots. I mean, this is the this is what people are searching right now, and uh, and uh, you'll be interested to know that this is actually for the search term fishing on YouTube search. You can see that here, YouTube search, right? So we could also go to um, web search, just what people are, I guess, searching over the web. Maybe Google. No, that's Google shopping. Um, I don't know if I'm going to bore you with too much more of this here, but if you go to web search and fishing, you'll see a couple different results. So major league fishing. So great. So you got other uh, things that might be popping up if you're not on YouTube. But so there we go. We got a little bit of that. Now uh, we're getting close to iCast. So let me show you a couple different videos I've seen from stories right quick before we actually get into the new rods and reels. So here is some stuff from iCast Show. This is the official Instagram of iCast and uh, Bass Nation just kind of popped up a little entryway pick here. I figured I'd share that with you if y'all are out there in Florida enjoying the show. Kudos to you. Hats off. Having fun. And then we've got Savage Gear. I thought this was interesting and I didn't see it on the bait releases, but this is out there iCast. I think I've actually seen some videos maybe by fishing with Norm and some other creators, Yak Pack, some, something along those lines of the Savage Gear 3D Bat. Uh, pretty cool bait. Pretty cool bait. Figured I'd show that real quick. And then we've got a little video of this uh, new, I think it's, okay, it says Savage Snake. I thought there was something mentioned about Rattlesnake. But anyways, check this out. Look at this thing swim. Look at that. I had to show you that. So this is the stuff they're doing out there at iCast. It's pretty cool. You know, they put baits in the tank. They show them uh, firsthand the action. And so it's a pretty cool experience. If you've got an opportunity to make it out for next year's iCast and you're not there this year, definitely jump on that opportunity. Uh, meet a lot of folks in the industry. Uh, we've been thrilled every time we've been able to make it out there in the past. Just weren't able to... Uh, it was kind of close. We actually just got back from a Florida trip ourselves recently, and so I wasn't able to make it out this time, but that's okay. That's okay. Here's a video of the inflatable yak we're about to showcase as well. Check this thing out. Uh, so inflatable kayaks, they're just going crazy right now. So much popularity I see gained in the industry, and this one is no exception. Look at this thing. I'm talking about you got a sit in, you got an elevated seat. You got it decked out with yak attack gear. Let's play that one more time. You got your paddle. You got, look, It's does it even have a rail for accessories? It has to. Yeah, there's like accessory mounts on this thing. I mean, changing the game. This is really cool. I'm kind of curious if uh, y'all would like to see us grab one of these things. If not us, I'm sure you're going to see it from your favorite creators very soon. And now we are getting into the, uh, the, the main attraction here, the rods and reels at iCast. Now, of course, 
hear me out, we have not fished any of these, right? And so uh, this is really just more coverage of what's coming to you. We're going to shout out the prices. And we fish from some, some of these brands for sure. Uh, so you'll get a little bit of our take there. But this is stuff that we have not tested. And so we're just going to kind of, sh again, showcase it for you all here in today's video. Um, but before we get into rods, reels, and line, let's go ahead and give a quick shout out to today's video sponsor being Carl's Bait and Tackle. They've got something big going on right now, ladies and gents. This is their 10th year anniversary sale. This is Carl's and Mystery Tackle Box. And so, hey, if y'all are looking for a free Guggen Squad fishing rod, here's how you get it. You get a free, hear me out, free Gold Series Guggen Squad fishing rod with a 12-month subscription to Mystery Tackle Box. So if you've been contemplating Mystery Tackle Box, uh, a subscription, now is the time you got to jump on it because you're getting a free 150 or maybe they claim $160 value, right? After tax, I suppose, uh, with your subscription. So personally, we've been using Mystery Tackle Box since 2018. Y'all have seen the videos. We've done tons of slams. We've uh, found some of our favorite new baits and techniques through these uh, Mystery Tackle Boxes we get at our door. They send you one every single month. It's catered to the fish you want to catch. So if you want to catch largemouth, you tell them, you get them the address, boom, new box of largemouth baits catered to the time of year sent to your door every single month. It's just one of the best ways to get out there, uh, fish new techniques, and catch a lot of fish. Okay, so we've been doing that since 2018 and loving it. Now's your chance to grab that subscription and get a free gold series Guggen Squad fishing rod. But wait, there's more. You see here, you can actually get yourself a free green series rod with a $150 Guggen purchase. So what you've got to do if you're over there on Shop Carl's is you've got to spend $150 on Guggen related uh, products. So soft baits, hard plastics. I did inquire with the team. They said even if you were to buy, this is this is my favorite, if you were to buy a gold series fishing rod, which is going to get you $150 bucks just with the rod, you can then apply that and it's going to get you one free green series rod. So you're only going to get one green series rod per purchase, but if uh, you're needing some new rods in your arsenal, now is absolutely the time during this 10-year sale. It's expiring here in August, and so you got to jump on it quickly. But um, yeah, go out there, grab you a go-to Gold Series rod and get you a free Green Series. You know, grab that muscle rod you've been wanting, the reaction for your treble hook baits, your cranks, the twitch rod for your jerk baits, whatever you need. Uh, now is the time. That This is when I like to buy is when I get a deal like this. So uh, just throwing that out there. Carl's, thank you for sponsoring today's video. Huge sale. Y'all got to absolutely get over to shopcarls.com and uh, and check out the deal. So that is um, that is that right there. And I'm going to leave that down here in the corner for y'all to uh, just investigate throughout the rest of today's episode. But check me out. Rods and reels at iCast. Actually, you know what? We're going to minimize today's sponsor for a second. We want to give y'all the full screen experience here on the new rods and reels. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Maybe I can even zoom in here just a touch. And uh, there now we are two live, ladies and gents. All right, scrolling down. First product on the list. It's looking pretty clean too. This is the Abu Garcia Revo X low profile combo. So low profile, just kind of uh, talking about the bait cast there, that low profile, real palmable style reel. Um, this is what got me interested in fishing. This is literally what got me interested in fishing was bait casters. I was so like uh, mesmerized by this type of reel because all I had ever fished was spinning combos, which we're going to see some of here in just a moment. And so I was like, what is this? I had never seen anything like it. And the bait casters actually intrigued me enough to start watching some fishing videos. And then we got into making the fishing videos and we've documented the whole experience in the last five years. Uh, should you care about any of that? So anyways, the Revo X is coming in at $199. Um, I'll let y'all kind of pause where you need to and check out some of these details, but we're going to go through this fairly quickly because there's so much to cover. So, um, Cashion Icon BFS rod, so bait finesse systems. Okay. We are loving, uh, the bait finesse system reels that have come out from Shimano lately. Uh, I know there's other manufacturers that make BFS reels. Okay. But Shimano's is primarily what we've got on our boat deck or when we're fishing the banks, you name it. And they're geared with smaller spools, lighter, towards throwing some of your lightest tackle that you might normally use your spinning rod and reel combo for, okay? Uh, so with those, there's plenty of reels with light spools and claim and all this and that, but these are specifically geared for the lightest of tackle, okay? Without getting those bird's nests. And you just want to put, you know, a five, eight pound test on these things and you're going to be able to kill ahead and use your finesse um, baits 
with those reels and you pair it with a nice softer tip shorter uh, rod like this right here and you're going to get a great fling out of those lighter baits as well so now that these bait casters are uh, coming out that are geared towards the lighter baits you've got a, a, an all-in-one package with these bfs rods coming out there's a lot of interest in this and more and more are popping up every day and let me tell you they're kind of expensive folks this is a 220 dollar rod now me personally I just get away with the Guggen Squad Twitch Rod, right? I'm not trying to pay all this extra money. Uh, luckily, we're working with Guggen and we get some rods. And so I'd rather use something I get for free, a Twitch Rod, right? Which gets the job done and then some. I actually really like the Twitch Rods for BFS reels that we've got. But um, you've got dedicated BFS rods here. I don't, I don't know where I was getting at. You've got dedicated BFS rods, of course, if you want to go that route. Now, next up, we've got a spinning combo. I like the color scheme, that's for sure. This is the cast and seek spinning combo. Uh, I didn't even realize. This is actually shopcarls.com. I wouldn't be surprised if it's on sale right now. But um, yeah, $59.99. I, uh, look at me acting like a fool. I said I wouldn't be surprised if it's on sale right now. This thing ain't even out yet, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So you got uh, a $60 setup, 6'6", medium powered graphite composite with a 2,000 size reel. So great size for fish in the ponds. Uh, high quality reel, fish, da, 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 five bearing system. You know, we don't need to know all that, but check us out. Spool with six pound test. So this thing is ready to go straight out of the box. So that's cool. A nice $60 option. I, I really like that. I doubt many things on this list are that affordable. <laughs> Speaking of, we got Fenwick out here coming in with an elite bass casting rod. It looks premium. I'll tell you that much right there. It looks premium. I do like this right here. Um, okay, I need to figure out how to get this mouse to work with my program. But I do like that the um, bait keeper is on the top. Uh, you know, on the Guggen Squad rods, it was on the on the bottom. And with these new Black Series rods coming out soon... I believe it is not. They might have changed the location, and I, I typically like it on the top there. So um, that's what the Fenwick is offering you. You got an awesome looking setup with the cork, probably fantastic feel, high quality cork and ergonomic real seat, titanium guides with zirconia inserts, and a lifetime warranty. Always looking out for warranties because look, let me tell you what, rod snap. I don't care what brand you're buying. I don't care if it's. I'm not even going to name names. Okay, <laughs> I've snapped a rod from every manufacturer. I have fished with the exception of maybe two that we. You know, like I've got one individual rod from these folks and they've just gotten lucky so far. But let me tell you, rods snap. So those warranties are, are where it's at. So kudos to Fenwick on the lifetime warranty there. Hopefully it's great customer um, great uh, customer service out there. Guggen Squad coming out with their Black Series rods. Now, uh, we did get our hands on a spinning rod, okay, on the Black Series. And we actually might have even tested the reel to go along with it. Uh, my feedback is fantastic, but hear me out. We only used it on our Florida trip uh, in the saltwater, fishing from the surf. <laughs> so we actually caught some snook on those bad boys. And uh, all I can tell you is uh, the reel held up fantastically. You know, those things pound for pound are going to fight way harder than the largemouth uh, pound for pound. Okay. We were out there in the surf catching the snook. I think we caught a couple other species as well. I just wouldn't want to look like a goofball and name, name them incorrectly. So uh, <laughs> we, we had some fun with the Black Series spinning combo out there. This is coming in at $2.99. So I'm telling you, this is going to be a top tier rod right here. Let's, let's read this one because we're, you know, we're, we're big fans. Guggen Squad's flagship rods are built using premium high carbon blanks and nanotech resin to produce the brand's most sensitive, durable, and best balanced rods. Uh, call me biased, but hey, custom molded carbon fiber handles with a no-slip coating, Fuji stainless steel tangle-free guides with phase light we're going to call it phase light inserts are standout features and that was actually the one like crazy thing i noticed was the inserts inside of the guides uh it's almost like they feel like just slippery and wax like like your line is just going to shoot through there so much better than uh, on the previous models that we fished so that was a standout feature for me for sure was those inserts i like where the um uh, again, where the bait keeper is placed, I think it's probably right up here off to where you can't see it. I might be wrong, um, but it was on the top in the prototypes we tested. So who's to say it's where they're going to be in the final production models, but I did really like the placement there. Same thing with the uh, spinning combos. It was instead of underneath, it was kind of off to the side and I really dug that. So new black series rods from Guggen coming out. Uh, we've got the Halo HFX spinning rod. I like the look of it. I'm sure the feel is fantastic. This one's coming in at $149.99, 7 6, medium heavy. Uh, it just says medium heavy action. So it doesn't say like medium heavy, like, you know, moderate type of deal. Great. Uh, ideal alignment of the guides from handle to tip. Four finger reel seat. Okay. Four finger reel seat. So I guess there's probably some grooves under here for your hand. Um, fantastic. Yada, yada, yada. 
Uh, it's looking like a it's looking like a winner. Must add Brandon Lester Instinct Elite Rod Series. So these guys right here are going to be expensive, and if you're trying to deck out your arsenal with these right here, it's going to cost you uh, a little bit of cash. Three hundred and forty nine dollars per, if I'm not mistaken. It does seem that way based on what I'm seeing. Uh, Bassmaster Elite Series winning pro Brandon Lester worked with Mustad to create a tournament-born improve and specialty lineup of premium rods. I'm liking what I'm hearing so far. Each BLF Instinct Elite rod features a unique, I can hardly understand what that is, manufactured from a blend of three of the most advanced holy marketing fluff everyone does this folks it's tough to tell what's even good out there because you don't even know what they're talking about it's almost like what's in what's in this red bull right here it's like you can hardly tell right i don't know i don't know what sodium bicarbonate and magnesium carbonate and you know just it's just good drink <laughs> so anyways <laughs> mustadfishing.com that's where you're going to be able to buy that thing must add legacy combo series. Uh, this is interesting. Combos, two combos on one? Combining durable two piece graphite composite rods with pre spooled ball bearing reels. This new series is available in a team combo. Cool. That pairs with both junior and senior rod and reel combos into a single ready to fish package. I like that. Must add's freshwater legacy combo for senior anglers is based around a seven foot medium light power moderate action rod, while the junior freshwater legacy combo includes a five foot light power moderate action rod, both perfect for targeting bass, panfish, or trout. $39 to $54 for single adult, no, sorry, single youth or adult combos. Team combos start at $89. Okay, so if what I'm reading is correct, for $89, you're getting two of these setups. It's like one for father and son. I, I, if that's the truth, I like that a lot. I mean, $89, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's a bargain. That's a bargain right there. I would go ahead and grab that uh, hands down. Now we're coming up on, okay, we're coming up on the expensive goodies right here. This is the Shimano X-Pride B. I'd love to say I have fished the Shimano X-Prize, but I have not. I really got to get my hands on one. If any of y'all want to send me one to kind of test for some videos, I'll ship it right back. <laughs> Maybe we'll pay you some royalty fees or something. <laughs> but this thing is coming in at uh, $389.99 to $419.99. So I feel like we got to read the description on this and get those facts out here. Shimano X-Prize B rods incorporate high power X-Blank technology to deliver the optimum blend of performance and durability. A Shimano exclusive manufacturing innovation High Power X allows rod engineers to craft models with finely tuned powers and actions that address specific presentations, including versatility, power fishing, or throwing large swim baits. So basically what I'm hearing is they've got a... Um X Pride B and multiple different series that's going to cover all these techniques. While also providing anglers with enhanced casting distance and accuracy, Shimano engineers further enhance the X Pride B series by incorporating premium carbon uh, yada yada handles and increased vibration transfer through the rod and into the angler's hand to deliver up to 30% more sensitivity. People love throwing the word sensitivity out there, and uh, for good reason, because if you've got a sensitive rod, you're feeling the bites and you're catching the fish. So if it increases it by 30%, all about it. The X Pride B series also features CI4 Plus real seats and Fuji. SIC guides for premium performance available in 16 casting rods, whoo, including three glass models and six spinning rods. So let me just break out the calculator here. Like, what if I wanted the whole lineup, right? What am I spending here? If I wanted, if I wanted all 16 casting rods, and let's just assume it's a $400 price point. So 16 times 400. Okay, so you're spending 6,500 bucks if you want the whole lineup. Pocket change, right? <laughs> Moving on, Kistler Grasshopper Rod. This one's coming in at 149. I'm not going to read the uh, description on this one. It a Grasshopper Rod. So I think this is a, a shorter rod, right? Designed for the kiddos, four foot six inch. Um, specifically designed for kids, yet built upon the same standard adult anglers can appreciate. Okay, cool, very cool. 149 dollars though. Do you trust your uh, son or daughter with a 149 dollar fishing rod? Just learning the learning the uh, craft. <laughs> this might be for those advanced kiddos out there. Built by hand in Texas. Come again? Hey, we buying this thing. <laughs> We're putting this in a challenge video. Built in Texas. <laughs> cool. St. Croix. Now, this one's interesting. We got to stop and take a peek at this. St. Croix Legend Tournament Bass Series Rod. Now, it's got like this pistol grip right here. I've never fished one of these. I need your feedback. I desperately need your feedback on this. I've never fished a pistol grip rod. I don't know if this is a, an old timer thing or if this is like new school or what. Y'all have got to help me out on this because it's very intriguing. I, I just want, I want to get one and fish it. St. Croix just send us one. I want to fish this. I don't get it. Uh, headlined by a trio of powerful all new swim bait models featuring the St. Croix exclusive grasp reel seat. I get it. So if this is a dedicated swim bait rod, which it is looking like because of that very lengthy butt end and handle, 
then I do understand there because those those double digits that will bite those largest of large swim baits, they will take the rod out of your hand. Okay, okay, so I get it. Here we go. Uh, St. Croix's redesigned and comprehensive Legend Tournament Bass Series expands to 19 technique-specific casting models. Okay, so it's not just for big swim baits. <laughs> and eight spinning models for 2023, featuring all new SCIV plus carbon blanks and an AI Act glass blanks on select reaction bait and models. New Legend Tournament Bass Rods feature refined angler ergonomics and cosmetics, as well as all of St. Croix's top technologies. So you're looking at rods from 290 to 390 there uh, across all models. And I, I'm just interested in fishing one with a pistol grip to see how it feels. I'm, I guess I'm throwing a big swim bait on it because that's what they made it sound like it's for. St. Croix Extract Freshwater Fishing Systems, uh, $175 to $190. Y'all got to let me know what you're picking up. Like what's a cop, what's a drop? Are we are we buying this stuff or are we passing on it? Are y'all St. Croix fans? Are you Guggen fans? Are you 13 fishing fans? We got more to cover. If you've made it this far in the video and you have not dropped the like yet, I can't do it for you. I, I would I would love to hit, let's call it, what did we get on the last video? That's what we're going to judge it off of. We got to have a light goal for y'all because I know we can crush this if we work together. So if we're looking at the most recent video, uh, what have we got over here? I'm trying to load this content and I've got the spinning wheel of um, doom right here. The loading, okay, here we go. It is looking like we have got, it's not even going to tell me, so I'm going to have to go to the video under your videos under the YouTube tab now. We're loading this up as quick as we can, folks. I want to hit a light goal for y'all today before we finish closing out talking about the rest of these rods and reels. So on our newest one, 328 likes on the tournament, 477 likes. So let's target 500 likes. If we can get this video to 500 likes, we're going to do more fishing report style videos like this for y'all. Remember, you can cut ahead. You can skip whatever you want. Uh, you can just hit the, hit the chapters that you want to see on a, on a regular basis. And that's what this is designed for this format. I, I'm really enjoying making them. And so next up, Back to the fishing, 13 fishing meta series. So this is a $149 rod right here. We uh, did use a lot of 13 fishing rods in the past. They were those green ones. They were just all lime green. I kind of forget. It wasn't the Omen, I don't believe. We did have a, a cheap 13 fishing uh, swim bait rod. It was like 40 or 50 bucks. And that thing for the money, I thought was definitely worth it because you can't find stuff to throw big baits out for that cheap. But what was the ones? Anyways, they were lime green. Let's call it 100 bucks per rod. I would buy them when they were on sale at like Dick Sporting Goods for 80 bucks. And we snapped, let me tell you what, we snapped all of them, like in record time. So no, no bashing 13 fishing. It was just our experience. Um, plenty of people say the same thing about the Guggen rods they get. Plenty of people say the same thing about the Lou's and the St. Croix and all the things we've covered. Okay, so, so rods break. But um, we had a bad experience with our 13 fishing rods. And so we'd love to maybe pick up another one like this and have a great experience with a 13 fishing meta series. This is the Gerald Swindle designed series of rods. You can bet they will stand up to anything. Well, good. Made up of premium materials only G-Man would approve. Built on the next generation of Japanese PVG 36T rod blanks. The rods were handed. See, nobody knows what these rod blanks are talking about. All these different <laughs> so acronyms, synonyms. Is that the word? Uh, premium Japanese split grip EVA foam. Okay, EVA foam. That's what they're talking about there. Um, evolved custom reel seat, SS American tackle guides with Dura light inserts all add up to a superior rod. Casting rods from 6'8 to 7'6. So, you know, quick quick mention, you know, as you get into like uh, jig fishing and kind of like bottom baits, I like kind of a 7'5, 7'6, you know, heavy, extra fast. I like, a, I like a stout rod. So if you're in the market for a rod, that's something I would recommend. If you want an all-purpose rod, I'm looking at something like 7 foot to 7 foot 3, medium, heavy, fast action. General all-purpose. This is going to get the job done. If you're looking for or, you know, those treble hook baits, your crank baits, potentially jerk baits as well. Sometimes you want different size rods for the applications, but you want a softer tip, okay? Because those those treble hooks, they're oftentimes much smaller. They can bend out easier than those big like Texas, Texas rig hooks, uh, jig hooks, things of that nature, those stout swim bait hooks, all those things, right? So you want a little bit more give in the tip. That way when those fish are shaking, that rod's kind of working with them and you can play them out better and, uh, and and lose less fish ultimately, okay? So you can bring more fish to the boat if you've got that slower tip, something like a, a reaction rod if we're talking Guggen, right? Um, and then of course, uh, something like maybe this 6.8 offering in the uh, Meta Series 13 fishing rods. So, you know, go with the brand you love, but uh, just consider the, the length of the rod. Another thing is casting distance. So you're going to get more distance, all other things being equal, okay? Like same reel, same line, same weight, bait, all other things being equal, you're going to get more distance out of a longer rod. This is just the facts, okay? You're going to get less distance out of the... Um, 
the shorter rod. This is just uh, this is just how it works, ladies and gentlemen. Just how it works. So something to consider when you're picking the size and the action of the rods you want to purchase. Next, we've got some reels. Abu Garcia Revo Rocket spinning reel. I can tell you, I don't have much experience with Abu Garcia spinning reels, so um, not much to say from me or from me on this one, uh, except you know, cool looking color scheme. If you're into that black and red, it's coming in at almost 200 bucks. So this must be one of their top tier reels. Uh, it's uh, yeah, this must be. This must be pretty bad to the bone. Uh, but again, not much for me to say, uh, along with many of these, because of course we haven't fished them. The Kistler Chromium Reel. So I imagine this might pair with another rod we talked about earlier. I thought I saw that name Kistler up there. Uh, known for his premium rods. Yep, founder Trey Kistler has again created a masterpiece by developing the most unrivaled BFS bait casting reel on the market. So does this pair with that BFS rod we were talking about? So $299 BFS reel. Uh, I, I like the look of it. Um, it's really all I've got to say. Coming at $299 at KistlerRods.com when it is available. Lose Custom Light Series Spinning Reel. So now we got a Lose, $159 Lose. I got to tell you, my experience with Lose, I fished a lot of their entry level stuff and I haven't fished a, a ton of their premium stuff. So I, I wish I could give you more feedback on the Lose because so many folks get into fishing with Lose products. It's just uh, it's just an easy go-to brand. They, they've really had the, they've been around for a long time and they've been putting out fantastic products. And so they've got this Custom Light Series Spinning Reel. Um, Designed with a singular purpose, to offer anglers an elite level, high performance spinning reel at the lightest weight possible. So if you only consider that right there, it sounds like a buy to me because it's coming in at $159 and you can see a lot of these elite spinning reels coming in at much ex more expensive prices, right? So lose.com if you want to grab that boy. Now, this one right here, this one right here we're talking about, it looks like, looks a little bit like a Shimano, don't it? <laughs> looks like our favorites right here, I'm telling you. So uh, in other words, I really like the design. This is cool because I, I, I got to tell you, I've never really been the biggest fan of the fat knobs on the lose and that grip. Um, it's not it's not I'm a, it's not I'm a hater. I, I like them, but I really like this new style if you're talking about comparisons and I love this color scheme. This is a real I want to get this thing is four hundred ninety nine dollars. So maybe I don't want to get it, but I do want to get it. OK, so <laughs> this is the uh, team elite T.I.S.L.P. casting Real, so I don't know all of their uh, little designations here and what all of them mean, like the TI and the SLP. So if y'all could, uh, you know, help folks out down in the comment section with that, I would love the assistance. Crafted in the 72nd year of Lou's existence, so there we go. We talked about how they've been around for a little bit. Shimano, 50 years making rods and reels. Um, uh, team Lou's here, or sorry, Lou's at 72 years with a nearly a with nearly a century. Of design exceptionalism at the core of this American company, the Elite TI represents the perfect harmony between breathtaking innovation and heartfelt fishing legacy. I definitely want to get this real. Lose exclusive paramag braking system eliminates typical magnetic interference. I've never really heard too much or worried about that, but apparently it's a thing. Creating longer cast with complete spool control. Here's my thing on, you know, talking about longer casting, because it's like pretty much announced with every single reel, every single rod even that we, we read about. It said longer casting, right? But we talked about how length has so much to do with it. Like when you're talking about creating longer casting with a reel, a lot of it has to do with the line size and the weight of the bait and the, your settings. But uh, anyways... Like, like, what is a long cast, right? Who defines what a long cast is? I don't need to cast across a football field, right? And I don't think you do either. And we want accurate casts. But anyways, uh, my two cents there. Now, I'm, again, this is not hating on, this is not hating on lose. Don't take it that way. Don't put it out of context. This is just funny that I see the marketing fluff incorporated in a lot of these reels. And like, how much more distance do we need out here in 2022, right? So the angler's in full control of the cast in all wind conditions and with all lure weights. So there you go. The Elite TI represents the perfect intersection of striking form and second to none functionality. Um, I just, that one's going on the shopping cart as soon as I can. The Exist by Daiwa. So this one right here, um, this one is out of my budget <laughs> until I start getting those fishing with norm views. This one is $859 to $929 right here. Uh, yes, we did just buy that in Terrace DC, but that was that was all thanks to a sponsor uh, we had, and they kind of covered the price of that reel and then some, and so we got very fortunate to um, grab that Antares DC we've been looking at for a long time, which is neither here nor there, because it's not on this list. Y'all could probably care less, but it is one of our, it is the most expensive reel we've ever purchased, and here I am talking about budget, so... I want to read about this one for y'all. The new Exist family features an all-new Exist air drive system with Zion, we'll call it, air drive rotor. I'm sure I mispronounced that. Air drive bale. Air drive bale, so that makes it sound like it's just going to be um, really light when you open that bale up. Air drive spool. 
probably longer casts and air drive shaft. Thanks to Zion, not pronouncing it, uh, pronouncing that right again. The new exist air drive rotor is 15% lighter, features a screwless design, flush interface, sorry, surface, and greatly increased rigidity. The takeaway is lighter rotation, providing you less handle turning resistance. And that's something I'll notice with bait casters for sure. You know, sometimes you get that resistance when you're reeling and less of it is better. So I like the sound of that. The air drive shaft adds stability and power transfer. It also works with the rotor for um, it also works with the rotor for smoother, easier rotations. It allows you to feel absolutely nothing when turning the handle. Okay, that's what you want. You want no feedback other than the fish biting that bait. So I do like the sound of this $929 reel, probably if you get the larger spool size. Ah, the air drive veil is lighter and angled, allowing seamless transition to the line roller onto the air drive spool. It's considerably lighter in weight than comparable reels. The new redesign, well, you know, hopefully for an extra five, six, seven hundred bucks that you're paying over other reels, I would hope it's lighter. The new redesigned clicker in the spool reduces click resistance, creating smoother and much more efficient drag. The reel also offers, I gotta crack this Red Bull, Daiwa's advanced tournament system for a maximum of 22 pounds of drag pressure in the three, four, and 5,000 sizes. So those are the, the larger ones I am assuming. I, I, I would bet this thing's offered in like a 1,500, 2,000, or $2,500 offering as well. But um, interchangeable between right and left-handed versions and three different gear ratios. Uh, so you've got those gear ratios there. By the way, if you're unfamiliar with gear ratio, this is saying 4.9 to 1, 5.2 to 1, and 6.2 to 1. So uh, you're bringing in, the spool is making a full circle 4.9 times for every one full turn of the handle, if you get that slowest gear ratio right there. Uh, the spool is making 5.2 rotations for every full turn of the spool with that mid-range uh, gear ratio, and 6.2 full turns of the spool for every one turn of the handle with that high gear ratio right there. Now, here's where people get tripped up because you could say, okay, well, are all of them equal? No, because if you have the larger spool size, 6.2 turns of the spool is going to bring in more line than 6.2 full turns of the smaller size spool. So that's also something to consider and why you pretty much just got to go to the packaging on these uh, reels and look at, okay, uh, how many inches of line is brought in per full turn of the handle, right? You got to look at that. Uh, inches or whatever your metric is. So Next up, oh, big news, we got the Guggen Squad Gold Series Casting Reel, the aluminum frame and cranking side plate, carbon-infused palm side plate, brass gearing, dual magnetic and centrifugal braking system, and full carbon drag will make sure the Gold Series reels stand up to any fish. That's going to be key because these are brand new to the market, and so we got to make sure these things are reliable. And uh, talking with the team, that is the number one focus is reliability, right? And they're uh, they're coming in at 189 bucks, okay? So they're starting it off with uh, more silk. So you could consider it premium price tag, right? You know, of course, we've talked about reels today that are three, four, five hundred and up uh, dollars, right? But 189 bucks, so you're pricing it out somewhere along the lines of those Corrados, somewhere along the lines of those decent lose or good lose um, uh, bait casters. And so, uh, yeah, these reels also feature catch smart technology to help anglers pair the best rod for each tech. Neek. So talking about the styling, I like the black and gold, of course, because it's you know, that's kind of the, the the color scheme here. Gold series rods. You got the black ones coming out. It's going to pair very nicely with that. Um, I don't have a side image to pull up at the moment, but the way they have structured the braking system on the side is completely different than anything I've seen before. Max 20 pounds drag, plenty of drag. Um, and then as far as the handle, just kind of clean. I don't know if I care for like the gold being visible right there, but you know, that's just kind of like a personal thing. Like maybe I would just rather have the grip, but you got to do something to uh, shave weight or look a little bit different or whatever they're uh, considering over there at the design team. Now the spool, uh, I don't know if I necessarily care for like, it kind of looks almost tacky in a way, right? There's like so much going on, but here's the thing. Uh, you're actually getting a lighter spool out of this design because there's so much less of the spool with those cutouts, okay? And uh, it's all going to be covered up by lines. So all you're going to see is this silver, or sorry, <laughs> silver. All you're going to see is this gold ring there with your fishing line on there. And I think it's going to have a clean aesthetic paired up with one of those black series rods, which is probably what we're going to end up doing with the things, if not putting them on our gold series and just across the board uh, when we get our first one. So be looking out for the reviews on this one, because trust me, the creators are going to hit it hard. When these drop, there's going to be so much interest around these things, especially because it's the first reel put out by Guggen. And people are not just going to go buy these. They're going to want to see some reviews. They're going to want to see some 
some honest feedback. They're going to want to see some videos from creators that are not um, probably part of the Guggen squad and team and all that stuff right there. So I think there's going to be so much interest around these, but you're going to have to look out for some reviews. I'm very excited to see uh, how they fish firsthand, especially based off of our experience with the, uh, the spinning combo, right? Because we did get a chance to toss out that rod. We did get a chance to use the new reel uh, in the spinning category. And so definitely piqued our interest uh, on the Guggen Squad reels coming out. So um, yeah, spend a little extra time on there. Y'all probably know why. We love the Guggens. That's the whole reason why we even got into these videos is because of the Guggen Squad. Before they were the Guggen Squad, by the way. I was just watching them when they were Flair, John B., Alex Perrick, right? They just had their individual channels, LFG, Lake Fork Guy. Um, uh, yeah, so we were just at that point in time is when we kind of got into it. Now, uh, Shimano Bantam A. This is probably a buy for me as well because, you know, we love the latest and greatest from Shimano. I never took a drink of this. Hold tight. Ah, I got to give you all a break somewhere. I talk fast, man. It's tough to keep up. All those comments, I can't do anything about it. It's just me. I just talk fast. Red Bull might slow it down a little bit. We'll see. No promises. Okay. The redesigned Bantam A features Shimano's exclusive Infinity Drive technology, delivering unsurpassed reeling force to dominate the power game. Like it. With Bantam in hand, bass specialists can now attack thick vegetation, flip supersized jigs. Supersized, okay. Talking McDon McDonald's. <laughs> Burn one ounce spinner baits or scour the depths with large crankbaits without resistance. I gotta get this thing. They're making it sound like just strong and beefy. I like this. Uh, engineered from a one-piece aluminum core solid body, the redesigned Bantam A delivers a solid feel. Confidence for hard hook sets and the cranking power required to extract trophy caliber fish from the thickest cover. I might sell every reel I've got for this thing. Bantam A reels also feature Shimano's MGL spool, MGL3 spool, leveraging decreased startup inertia for longer casts and expanded versatility. Uh, so, so leveraging decreased startup inertia. So that is when you make your cast and you you like you really fling it. I mean, you give it your all, right? That bait is heavy and it's carrying the line off of the spool so fast. Sometimes if you really fling a bait out there, you actually just get a bird's nest right away because you flung the thing so hard that the spool is like spinning so fast and just boom, knots up. Okay, so that lowered startup inertia means the spool is going to start at a slower rate of speed as that bait is really on that acceleration of the cast and on its way out. And then it's going to speed up as that bait is kind of reaching the apex most likely and then on the downswing. And so it's going to be more of a freer spinning spool. I'm, the brakes are still going to apply, of course, but I like that um, I like that decreased startup inertia for longer cast and expanded versatility. See, that actually makes sense for longer casts. Shimano's been in the game a long time, and they're, and they're just they're just tough to beat. Just tough to beat. Um, the strong, light, and durable Bantam family includes reels equipped for right or left-handed retrieve with each different gear ratios to support a broad spectrum, uh, spectrum of bass triggering presentations. And this one's coming in at $349.99, excuse me, from fishshimano.com. Calm. So I'm looking forward to that one right there. I'm not. I'm not going to say I'm going out and buying all this stuff because look, we're trying to budget. I'm trying to buy stocks while the market's cheap. Uh, so I'm not really trying to buy all these reels right now. I'm trying to save. If anything, you know, talks about a recession coming up. But um, this is what's coming out. So <laughs> we've got the Shimano Stella FK. This thing looks clean. I can tell you that. Built upon the Shimano legacy of cold forged Hagen gear, or I don't think I said that right, and Micromodule Gear 2 Technologies, new Infinity X Ross technology provides unequal durability by extending the gear tooth horizontally and distribute load more evenly. You know, I could talk about this, but golly, do spinning reels just not get me excited? They just don't. They just don't. They just don't. Seven hundred and forty-nine to seven hundred and seventy-nine dollars. I guess I got to do. Y'all are gonna, y'all gonna chew me up in the comments, man. <laughs> y'all smallmouth anglers, get on the BFS game. That's so much more fun. Uh, anyways, <laughs> it's gonna be a great reel. It's just, it's just, I'm not spending that much money on a spinning reel myself. So, what do we got next? Thirteen fishing. Um, you know. Interesting. Interesting looks right here. Uh, 13 Fishing Inception G2, the Gerald Swindle inspired and designed uh, series, is a series of premium reels that are built to last and handle the toughest fishing environments. The unique series features pro specifications for gearing, handles, gear ratios, and capacities. Uh, standout features are a beetle wing rapid access side plate. Is that... What do you got to do on the fly with your side plate? 22 pound bulldog drag, aluminum, so a lot of drag, aluminum star drag, and Gen 2 anodized worm 
gear. So I don't know what it is because they didn't break it down, but anodized worm gear. TI armor, aluminum drive gear, and HAM. H-A-M, hardened bass drive gear. and eight. So a lot of big words, but they're not breaking it down. Like That's what I really appreciated about that Bantam breakdown. They talked like they talked a big game, but they backed it up with like all the facts. So that was really cool. Um, but no hate here. 150 bucks. I'm sure it's going to be a great reel. Y'all got to let me know if you're going to grab this thing off the shelf. I bet you it's going to be a phenomenal fishing reel. And it should be for 150 bucks. Hard-earned dollars out here. Uh, 13 Fishing Axum. I like the look of this, actually. And this one is priced at $135. This might actually be a spinning reel I would consider because... Um, just because of the looks and I imagine the performance and the price tag. You know, we don't all got thousands of bucks to, to spend on all this stuff, but we do want to allocate the dollars to the few reels we find value in. So the Silky Smooth Ultimate Cut Drive Gear and Hyper Brass Pinion are indicators of the premium quality of the spinning reel that is tough yet ideal for finesse applications. The Precision CNC gearing gracefully glides when the handle is turned. The many performance upgrades include a sealed motor, ceramic line roller with 100% corrosion, proof CZB gearing, uh, gearing, bearing, and black seal performance ball bearings. So uh, corrosion proof, you're making it sound like it's salt water proof, right? So I imagine it is. And uh, now we're on to fishing line, which I'm not going to talk too much about. Uh, I, I'm just not, you know, when it comes to fishing line, I, I fish the Guggen fishing line. I fish um, the Seaguar Abraze X. Uh, that's just, whew, you want to talk about cost, but I really love the Seaguar Abraze X. I mean, it doesn't get much stronger than that. And we rock the Guggen uh, line for just about everything. Uh, aside from maybe like our biggest swim bait setups, I think that's all we've got the Seaguar on. So I'm typically using, you know, 15 pound fluorocarbon if you want one line for general all purpose use. Uh, you know, if you're going for braid, I'd, I'd do something like 50 pound braid if you got that one top water rod and reel combo that you want to have braid with. Sure, you're going to get more casting distance out of something like 30 pound, but sometimes you're jeopardizing not being able to get your bait out of the thick stuff and pull those big fish in on the 30 pound. And oftentimes you don't need something like the 85 pound braid or whatever, unless you're really uh, flipping and frogging the thickest and thickest of covers. So 50 pound braid, 15 pound fluorocarbon for generally everything, 20 pound if you really got to use fluorocarbon for some beefy setups, um, you know, size down to something like 12 pound fluorocarbon for your crankbaits so they get their full diving, diving depth. I don't know if that's something y'all are aware of, but oftentimes uh, a crankbait has a depth rating, right? Like uh, three to five feet, eight to 12 feet. Well, those depth ratings are based off of 12 pound fluorocarbon line, not braid, braid floats, not mono, mono floats, fluorocarbon sinks, but the density of the line is changed by the diameter and the weight rating. So if you've got a 12 pound uh, line, right, fluorocarbon specifically, your crankbait should get that advertised depth. If you're using 20 pound fluorocarbon line, for example, sure you got stronger line, but your crankbait might get mm, 60, 70, 80, 90% of its depth, it's tough to say. Uh, how fast are you reeling? There's other variables, but um, the, the fact of the matter is 12 pound fluorocarbon is gonna get you the depth um, out of your crankbaits, and so I just figured I'd bring that up, just an important topic. Terminal tackle and storage, I don't think we're gonna cover much of this today. Maybe we'll save it for tomorrow. Ooh, Tokyo Rig was brought up as something to uh, talk about here in the comments, and uh, oh, oh ah, gosh, we should talk about it now. Look at these right here. We're going to talk about them. Uh, there's different flipping weights coming out. This is Gamakatsu G-Shield Tungsten. We're almost wrapping things up, folks. Um, if you've made it this far and are not subscribed yet, go ahead and tap that subscribe button. We're going to do more videos like this and just cover everything uh, in fishing. Okay? G-Shield Tungsten flipping weight features a specifically designed composite insert that not only protects an angler's line, but also provides 360-degree protection for the knot. So I'm, I'm not necessarily a fan of this. I'm going to tell you why in a second. It's innovative, but I'll tell you why here in a minute. The insert is wider at the base than at the insertion hole so the hook can recess itself can recess itself into the weight creating a more compact lifelike and snag resistant offering the flipping weight is slightly wider and excels when flipped or pitched into heavy cover and features a stealthy smoke colored finish for easy identification the weight size is stamped on the side of each weight like most weights these days so here's here's why i am a fan and why i'm not a fan you know it's something new i do see the point in it covering the bait right it's got that wider hole at the bottom there you see 
And then it's just got the standard sizing up here at the top. Um, but here's here's where I'm not necessarily a fan. I'm just going to break out our setup that we've got uh, from, from the Texas rig example earlier. Let's go full screen for y'all. So, you know, like this is already very compact and lifelike, right? You know, typically I'm throwing a black, uh, black tungsten and same thing with the weight peg. But aside from that, this is like how much more lifelike does it get, right? And this is a, a worm weight, so something important. This isn't a flipping weight, so that's why it's a little bit lengthier. I would typically throw the shorter, more dense um, flipping weights. But like if you pair it up with a worm, it's perfect, right? So we've got it right there with the blazing worm. Of course, it works great for the worms. Um, besides the point, I don't know if I necessarily need, I don't need any more coverage. Like this covers my knot, right? There's a, there is a little indention in this weight right here and in most tungsten uh, or in most weights in general, right? So this is as compact as it gets. So now I'm just confused because <laughs> now there's just an extra indention on the side of the body, which I would think could get caught in more scenarios. So anyways, it's pretty cool. I don't know if it's applicable. Y'all are going to have to let me know. Maybe if you've got the thickest flipping knot, like Snell knot in existence, and I just don't see the advantages. See, one more thing is imagine you are using a flipping setup. You've got a flipping hook, and oftentimes you've got to push your bait up past that, um, past the shelf, okay, on that flipping hook, so it sits up there. But then that the weight might even not allow it to sit up on that shelf very well. Yeah, so I'm just curious what your take is on these weights right here. Um... And I would love to know down in the comments section. So that's going to probably close things out for today, ladies and gents. We got more tackle boxes coming out, uh, fishing nets. I think there was a, a really cool um, something we're going to save for another video. But uh, yeah, we got some apparel coming out there. If you missed iCast like us down here in Texas, you know, don't feel bad. You got the full coverage right here. And uh, the last thing we're going to talk about before we close things out is actually, I forgot to mention it. Uh, is it still pulled up though? The inflatable fishing kayak the latest fishing product that will be on display at the iCast 2022 show from NRS is their Pike inflatable fishing kayak that comes in two configurations okay uh, standard and a pro version which adds yak attack products for a one-stop shop for a one-stop shop for a ready to compete inflatable rig ready to compete mm. say less <laughs> retailing at 1395 and 1795. I'm just going to tell you all, I mean, like if it's a, if it's a bargain and maybe there's some savings there, cause if it's a package deal, I would just straight up, I would just skip the 1395 and I would opt for the 1795 because the thing is, if it comes with all these, um, you know, stuff to get you ready for the tournaments, like this yak attack box there with the, so you can put your rods in the back. Maybe it's got this uh, rod holder there. looks like it's got a cup holder for you. I would assume that 1795 is coming with the paddle. Hopefully the 1395 as well. I don't know. Um, anything other than that necessarily, but you know, if it's tournament ready, I would just go ahead and grab those accessories. This is stuff you're going to want anyways. You got to have a place to put your rods and you got to have, um, yeah, 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 that, that, that box is invaluable. Toss all your goodies in there, your sunscreen, your tackle, what have you. So they aren't the budget kayaks, but is that what this says? I just want to make sure I read that right. They aren't the budget kayaks, but NRS is known more for quality and attention to detail than being the lowest price option. Would this be an ideal go-to setup for every tournament, question mark? Most likely no, but there may be times when scouting ramps in areas that aren't easily accessible, you could more easily launch this anywhere without a need for a trailer or even a truck bed. So, of course, this is going to be a pro for many folks out there just tossing in the back of the Toyota Camry. Let's go hit some water, right? Just uh, easily maneuverable. So I can see this being uh, great for folks that can't carry a lot of heavy stuff. I mean, this is this is I, I like it. Um, it would also be great for primitive launches and small ponds that dragging a 100 pound rig, uh, and, and ours are much heavier than that, right? Cause we've got those heavy autopilots. We got the PDL, uh, plus gear would be a nightmare. So th this is, this is pretty sweet. Also great for camping trips or to have as a standby for a buddy who may want to join you for a day of fishing. And this is true too, because I see a lot of folks with, uh, you know, they've got their trailer set up and maybe they've got room for two kayaks. Hopefully this thing wouldn't blow away if it's on like the second level or off to the side but you could even just toss it in the back and like let's say in Devin and I my wife and I's situation we have the trailer that can accommodate the two kayaks but we've taken off the little accessory on the top to uh, have the third up there right so what we could do is we could put that inflatable one in the truck whether it's in the bed or we could toss it in the you, you, you get the idea we could have three kayaks then and if a guest is joining us Toss them on the inflatable one, or I'll take the inflatable one. Screw it. It looks pretty sweet. Um, and great for camping trips. I second that. And so, yeah. 
Um, this entire setup could likely fit in the trunk of a car, which is great for folks living in apartments with no storage space. Now there, you sold some folks on it. That is the, the selling point. Now here's what I will mention. I bet you it is a pain to inflate and deflate. Please be wrong, Weston. Please be wrong. But if that is the case... Like, you're not blowing this thing up by the water's edge and then going to be worried about how you could have just brought your 100-pound kayak. You're going to be like, why am I worried about, like, why am I doing this? And I bet you one of those hand pumps is going to take forever. So uh, hopefully you've got a powerful battery-powered fan or they supply something to air this puppy up, like, ASAP, right? Or maybe it comes with some, I don't know, maybe it comes with some self-inflating deal. But uh, that is definitely something to think about. And of course, how long does it take to uh, get the air out of it, right? To deflate it, because that is, that's another question. Because yeah, you live in an apartment, yeah, you have no storage, but are you coming home from a day of fishing out in the heat and then you're going to like want to take all this stuff off and deflate it just to take it out, you know, maybe again uh, Sunday morning after you went out Saturday as well. So, so, you know, a little bit of an argument there, but Let's read the rest of this here. Weighing only 48 pounds. Woo! The kayak has a 375 pound capacity, which is mega. Yeah, that's great. And is uh, 12 foot 8 inches long and 38 inches wide. So that, that's, a, that's a good lengthy kayak. That means you're going to probably have great stability, even with the fact that it's so light. So hopefully the stability is there. The basic package includes a folding back fishing seat, adjustable foot pegs. This is what we were looking for. Carry bag, pump, pump, and an all-water Thin. Dope, y'all. Dope. The pipe combines a high-pressure 4-inch drop stitch deck that inflates to 8 PSI with 10.5-inch side tubes to create a super stable platform to sit, stand, or move around as you cast. And I like to fish standing when possible uh, off of the kayak. So that's great. A rigid keel insert in the bow, uh, bow <laughs> provides enhanced tracking on flat water. The out-of-the-box rigging includes bow and stern daisy chain attachment points plus additional bungee rigging. Okay, cool. The EVA foam deck pad protects the PVC from hooks and snags. I did not even, why would I not have thought about that? While providing superior grip when wet and comes with an integrated fish measuring board on the deck. Sweet. Don't try and get away with that in tournaments though because they'll probably disqualify you. Uh, to conveniently measure your catch up to 24 inches. Of course, this is not a tournament approved board. <laughs> there it is right there. Wow. But great for quick measuring before pulling out a catch board and your phone. That's hilarious. <laughs> Comfortable, uh, comfortable aluminum frame, suspended mesh seat elevates anglers for optimal visibility and easier standing. Something most tournament anglers are accustomed to and nice to see on an inflatable kayak. My opinion is you have to have an elevated seat. If you're in one of those sit-in kayaks or whatever, I mean, great to paddle to your destination. You get a little bit more power out of the power out of it, but for sure. But uh, the elevated seat, you want comfort. And let me tell you what: if you ain't got an elevated seat, you're not comfortable. I don't care who you talk to. I don't care. I don't care who you talk to. Fight me in the comments section. Uh, the pike comes with five yak attack accessory mounts are positioned throughout the board to customize your setup as well as a skeg plate that accommodates interchangeable fins. The pike comes with an all water fin. I think we talked about that. Fishing seat, adjustable foot pegs. We, we talked about all that. Here we go. The Pro Series, this is what we wanted, comes with these additional items to be ready to compete immediately. NRS, Ripple, Kayak, Two-Piece Paddle. Okay, so maybe you don't get the paddle then. Without this, Yak Attack, Roto Grip Paddle Holder. Sweet, because you got to have a place to put your paddle while you're fishing. Multi, this is all Yak Attack, so I'm just going to call it out. Multi-Mount Cup Holder. Awesome, got to have your... Um, got to have your Yeti out there for all day fishing. Mighty Mount Switch. I don't know what that is. What is the Mighty Mount Switch? Somebody help me out down below. Uh, Black Pack Kayak Fishing Crate. Got to have it. This is the kayak box. Got to have it. That's your storage. I mean, this is this is where it's at. Uh, Omega Pro Rod Holder with Track Mounted Lock and Load Mounting System. So I believe you could probably use other Yak Attack uh, accessories then with that right there. And it looks like you've even got some more options for kind of tie downs here in the back. Um, but yeah, rod holders are a must it like some quick access. If you're fishing tournaments, because they say it's tournament ready, and you see this setup right here, you notice you've got room for five rods plus the one you're fishing. Now that is uh that that's that's great because you're gonna want a lot of rods. You're gonna want baits rigged up. This is the thing I've learned in kayak fishing tournaments, but also just getting out my first few times in kayak fishing in general. You don't want to be stuck having to re-rig on the kayak all day. You really if you have, you know, if you have the rods, if you have four, if you have five, if you have six, it's great to be able to take them all out with, you know, rigs for the occasion, right? Top water, throw your Texas rig, have all of it set up. That way you're not fiddling around on the kayak. You will, 
uh, not enjoy kayak fishing if you do a few things wrong in the beginning. And one of them is like having to rig your whole arsenal up while you're on the kayak. So just uh, something to note. And I'm really glad we covered this at the ending. Remember, we've got the chapters here, so people are able to just skip straight to this if all they wanted to see was the kayak. But hey, let me tell you what. Thank you all so much for joining us. Thank you to Carl's Bait and Tackle for sponsoring today's episode. I, I got to bring that back up if I've got it lying around here. Carl's Bait and Tackle. Uh, thank you so much to Carl's on their 10 year anniversary sale, really hooking us all up with a, a free Guggen green series rod again with a $150 Guggen purchase. So if you need to grab some new baits, go for it. If you want to grab a gold series rod and get a green for free, it's essentially buy one rod, get one free. And, uh, if you want that gold series rod, you're going to have to sign up for a 12 month subscription with mystery tackle box, which is exactly how I started back in 2018. Devin, um, got me that for uh, Christmas. Okay. So Devin got me that for Christmas. I had MTBs showing up at my door, and I've had them ever since. So shopcarls.com, that's what I'm going to leave you guys with today. you got to get over there. That sale is expiring. So thank you all so much for sticking around till the end here. We'll catch you all on the next episode in the Fishing Report. Until then, peace out.